Morning folks, welcome to an ACC Queensland Daily Weather Up today, the 19th of March 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by townsofallsheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. Alright, we've got a few showers around northeast Queensland, quite a few showers around northeast Queensland. Nice, cool, and cloudy up there in the, in the northeast today. Uh, a few showers and storms up around the Torres Strait and off the northeastern Cape Coastline, a few showers developing, and even on the northeastern Cape Coastline, a few showers developing. Outside of that, some very isolated shower activity around the Mackay with Sundays region. Very very isolated showers around 1770 in Agnes and uh, down in the Fraser Coast. You can see a couple of showers popping up on the coastline as well. 24 hour rain totals till 9 o'clock this morning. We can see northeast Queensland and the Cape York Peninsula have done the best out of this uh, past 24 hours. Falls in excess of 50 millimetres in a couple of these sections of coastline, but generally falls in the 20 to 50 millimetre range across large areas of northeast Queensland's coastline. Uh, you can also see quite a few showers and thunderstorms resulting in falls in the 20 to 50 millimetre range across that Cape York Peninsula region. Outside of that, we've had some, some of those isolated showers around the Mackay coastline, generally less than five to 10 mils in that region. And so too for areas around 1770 in Agnes Waters, around Yapoon and, uh, and around the Fraser Coast. Right, so we've had a weak surface trough hit the coastline in the last 24 hours around northeast Queensland. That surface trough will continue tracking westwards over the next 24 hours and will impact the Northern Territory tomorrow. Uh, we're expecting to see another surface trough. You can see this massive cloud and rain out here. This is going to push westwards over the next uh, 48 hours or so. So the expectation is we're going to see another surface trough impacting North Queensland on Tuesday. Bit of a gap in between then and now and we've got another low pressure system located in between New Caledonia and Vanuatu it's going to track north today before shifting west tomorrow and it's going to start pushing west across the Coral Sea you can see there's about a 30% risk thanks to Meteorologics.com with that this system will push all the way to the west and up into Cape York Peninsula or the far northern parts of far north Queensland as we progress into the end of the week or over the weekend that means there's a 70% chance it won't do that and it'll just die or push away to the southeast. And if you want to know more about that, why don't you head over to our subscription service at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au where we hypothesise and speculate about what's going to likely happen over the longer term period. join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au if you're interested, righto, what's happening today? Uh, same thing that happened yesterday to a lesser extent though. So you can see some isolated convection building up across northeast Queensland. Uh, it's a very shallow isolated convection. You can see some more scattered shower activity around the far northern Queensland coastline, particularly north of Cairns through the day. Very isolated, weak convection across western Queensland as well. You can see these little blue splotches out here. And you can see widespread shower and thunderstorm development through Cape York Peninsula throughout the day. Into this afternoon, into this evening, you can see that pushing off the coastline into the Gulf and eventually, as I mentioned, it will impact the NT. As we go through into tomorrow morning, you can see some isolated weak shower activity on the coastline. Nothing quite as uh, scattered as it was this morning across the region, but we will continue to see some isolated showers on the coast as we go into the morning hours. And notice here around the eastern Cape York Peninsula, just a quite an enhanced little period of shower activity uh, in through the next, uh, in through this overnight early morning period too. So for those folks up here, uh, very sparsely populated section of coastline, there will be a, a shower, quite a bit of shower activity maintained. For the rest of us, much more isolated. Bodies stay inshore, stay in the creeks because southeasters are pretty well established at the moment. 20 knots uh, is the general consensus right across the coastline. They're sustained winds, so gusts are going to be up around 25 to 30 knots. Uh, and the only place that has a bit of an exception there is southeast Queensland. You can see anything south of the Fraser coastline, those southeasters are a little bit more, a little bit weaker and a bit more easterly as well. So uh, that's probably the only exception. That's probably the only place you'd, you'd bother trying to fish over the next 24 hours the rest of you stay in short stay on the uh, stay in the creeks have a good day talk to you tomorrow